In this short video, I want to take a look at doing some architectural stuff with molding and the sweep tool. I also want to look at one of the problems that you might run into in plasticity when you're using the sweep tool in this method. So here we have our profile of our molding, and then we have our path that we want it to follow. So if we select our molding, and then we hit Shift P for sweep, and then we select our path, we're going to get an error. And it says invaluable or unsuitable sweep path. Well, how can we get around this? Well, what we can do is we take our profile for our molding, we hit G, which is our move tool, and then we move it in from the corner. The reason why you're getting this error is because it's on the corner and it's just not sure what to do. Now, I have seen sometimes when it works fine, but I've also run into this problem, and that's why I wanted to bring this up. So once we move it, now if we go ahead and we select it and then we hit Shift P and we click on our spline, now all of a sudden you can see that the molding goes all the way around and makes perfect corners and everything's good to go. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to undo it and then I'm going to switch to our other profile. Now here's a case where it seems kind of odd because it just works here. So if we select our molding again and we hit Shift P and then we select our path, you'll notice that even though it was on the corner, this time it worked. But either way, what I wanted to show was a way around it if you run into that problem. I also wanted to show you how you could do it because this method is really fast. There's no point in us creating each one of these individually and putting them together. So if you found this video useful, please hit the like and subscribe. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.